When you have a history of greatness, the real challenge starts after the finish line. Oh, I can destroy you with the heart of a lion. When victory alone isn't enough, you chase something greater, no matter how difficult the path. On the dirt, in the sand, and beyond. The new 2024 Ridgeline Passport and Pilot, part of our most rugged trail sport lineup yet. From Honda. Welcome to Body Time. I'm Jacob DeGate. Glad to be your host. I'm glad to introduce my next guest on the show. We have Manny Merloss, who's the president of the Hash Grant Association. Manny, thank you very much for joining. Thanks for having me. Appreciate being here. Oh, great. Uh, it seems we have a, a good event coming up October 5th. Can you tell us, you know, a little bit about what, what this is? Yes, sir. October 5th, so about two Saturdays from now, we're going to have the Momo Walker uh, downtown Homer. And our, the Mama Walker is our version of the Red Restaurant, I guess. Okay. Uh, we, uh, we line up downtown Homer and uh, we try to get as many people as we can down there. And uh, we dress up in our moo moos and our best <laughs> mama and papa attire, and we hit the streets and we go to uh, we try to go to as many uh, businesses as we can in downtown Homer to promote uh, downtown and to promote businesses and get as many people as we can in one day. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Okay, so what time does it it, it start all? At? So we officially start at noon. Uh, we'll go from noon to eight on Saturday. The gates are open at 10 a.m. for pre-registration. Uh, it is a free event. Uh, don't require to uh, pay anything, but if you want to register, uh, you can. That registration gets you uh, a swag bag, uh, gets you entered into the Mama and Papa contest, uh, and also uh, register you for a uh, raffle ticket, too. So Sounds wonderful. So you'll have a, a, a best dressed contest? Is yes, sir. So we're going we're gonna to start the event off with a best dressed contest. Uh, it's been pretty interesting. And this is our fourth year doing it. And it's been pretty interesting the past few years. We get some, uh, we get some really good costumes and really good uh, people uh, dressing up. So, uh, yeah, we have a best papa and a best momma. Oh, that's wonderful. So I guess it's, you know, it's a pub crawl, so it's anybody from 21 up? Actually, we go to a lot of places. It's not just a pub, oh, pub okay. crawl. We do have some uh, water stops, and we call them water stops or hydration stops uh, in there. Um, so we, we pretty much open it to anybody. There's Scarlet Scoop on the list and, and uh, Spigots and Cristiano's and different places like that that are not specifically just a bar. Uh, so we've yeah. had kids before, and we welcome anybody. Well, that's wonderful. And I look, it looks like we have a list right there on yes, the screen. Yes, sir. And that's, that's a bunch of different stops. So yeah, uh, we got a, a total of fourteen stops, and and I've gotten some people reached out to us uh, since we put up the stops, and we might have a few more oh, that sounds by wonderful. the time we get to, get to <laughs> October fifth. All right, and y'all also going to have music, is that right? <clears throat> yes, sir. So when, when we finish the walk, we uh, we start off in, up the courthouse square, and we end at the courthouse square. And uh, we're going to have uh, Kevin Saban and Flush Carnival play on the bandstand for us from uh, 5 to 8. Okay, and that's going to be downtown? Downtown, Homer at the courthouse at the court square. Wonderful. Yes, sir. From 5 to 8, and that's it. It's free to get into that. Free to well. get in. Uh, we have Ellender Memorial High School coming out to provide food and uh, uh, soft drinks and water. All proceeds go back to Ellender. So come out and uh, help support those guys. Uh, and, um, you know, all the proceeds and everything go to back to the community. The whole purpose of this event is to promote downtown Homa and uh, get some business going in all those establishments. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, that, that's something that, uh, you know, this town's doing a good job of, of having events like this to, to help uh, that downtown area. It's really come a long way in the past few years. Absolutely. And we want it, we want it to come even further and succeed, you know. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And it, it seems like this is going to be this is a fun way to do it. It's something that you, you know, once a year, you, get yeah. to, you know, Halloween is right around the corner. So you get to dress up for that <laughs> and then you get to dress up for this. So maybe you can have a two, two for one costume perch. It's been uh, it's been very interesting how well this has been received. It's uh, it's a lot of fun, as you can see from some of the pictures on the screen now. Uh, we have a good time. 
And a lot more people participate and dress up than we thought was going to. We <laughs> thought we just, it was going to be just us uh, dressing up. But a lot of people get into it, and it's just a fun way to get out and enjoy the day. We've been lucky enough with great weather uh, every year, so hopefully knock on wood, we continue that and just come have fun and dance away in, in the streets <laughs> of home. <laughs> it certainly looks like a, a good time. Now, do you have a, a cos costume that you wear every year, or do you change it up? I do have a, a – I've had a moo, moo that I started off with, some uh, nice yellow sunflowers, but I've changed it up uh, recently. Last year, I've, I've got someone to uh, – Mitzi from Lum uh, Lumiere – to design me a personal, you know, moo moo. So I will be sporting that again this year. Well, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> Custom made moo moo. Custom made. Okay. Maybe you'll win the, the best costume. I know. hope so. I, I try every year. <laughs> you try every year, but that it sounds good. And again, it's, it's going to be October 5th, and it starts at what time again? 12 o'clock? We're going to start at 12 o'clock. Uh, we do have DJ Rhett. Uh, okay. MCing for us this year, and he uh, he actually leads the pack. And we play music. We got you know we got a, a side by side pulling a trailer that kind of leads everybody from stop to stop, uh, and we just party on from, until we get we start at twelve and until we get back to the courthouse, and then once we get there, there'll be food, drinks, and live music. Sounds wonderful. So what's the, the starting location, and where do you register again? Uh, Courthouse Square. Okay. Right right on the side of the bandstand. And you get there, and, and then y'all can go. And what's the first stop on? on the, the first stop is actually going to be the um, the Elks Lodge. Yep. Elks Lodge right yep. there. We're going to Elks Lodge, Lumiere, and then by Terrible and Nostellas. Okay. Sounds good. So, again, that's October 5th from 12 to 8. Get your, your best dressed uh, momos or pawpaws out there. It, it sounds good. Or, or you could just be a momo and pawpaw and come out there as yeah. you are. Hey, you can come as you are. You don't have to dress. We accept everybody. <laughs> sounds good. Uh, we'll, we need to take a quick break. We'll come, more, come back. We'll talk to you a little bit more uh, about what you do with the, the hash grant. But uh, stay tuned for more right here on HTV. <laughs> Today's social media segment is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health System. Your health is our legacy. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights. Welcome back to Bayou Time. I'm Jacob DeGate, and my guest here today is Manny Merlos, who's the president of the Hash Grant Association. Manny, again, welcome back. Uh, talking, we we're talking a little bit about the the event that the that the Hash Grant is putting on uh, October 5th, the Momo Walker, uh, you know, pub crawl or. or, or not only pup crawl, but like you said, it's for everybody. You have yeah. different stops that, that don't just have alcohol on right. it. But that it's, it's one of the events that they're put on to help uh, with downtown. Uh, and can you tell us, you know, for the people out there who don't know what, what the hash grant is, can you tell mm -hmm. us a, a little bit about it since you're the president of it? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the Hatch Grant Association started uh, roughly about four years ago. Uh, as a group of people that came together with one goal, and that was revitalization of downtown Homa. Uh, we decided that, you know, we wanted to see a couple of different things happen downtown, you know, this is, you know and we know that with the government and, and parish trying as hard as they can, you know, some people need some help. So we decided that we would try to help and be that voice of revitalization downtown. Uh, so we try to help as much as we can. We uh, we started that goal with uh, the Boucherie, first annual Boucherie, and the goal was to build a bandstand downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, the first Boucherie was a huge success, even though it rained. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole entire event, people still showed up. It was right after COVID. People still showed up and helped us out. And uh, it was a huge success. And we rolled into from that into a few more events that helped us raise some money and got some things going. And within a couple of years and in a few more events, we were able to build the bandstand downtown, which sits, you know, 
nicely right in front of the courthouse, uh, in the courthouse square. Uh, that was a huge success, and we didn't want to uh, stop there. So we come up with some more projects, and uh, we decided to uh, start a project called uh, Start With The Heart, and we're doing a paddle trail project uh, downtown Homa that's going to eventually f uh, feed all, you know, all throughout the parish. Uh, our first kayak or paddle launch uh, will be behind People's Drugs in Bayi Terrebonne. Uh -huh. uh, we're very close on getting that project complete. It's taken a while, uh, but uh, we are working on that. That Hopefully soon have a kayak launch or a paddle launch in a Bayi Terrebonne, our first one. Uh, with that, we're going to continue on by Terrebonne and keep going. Uh, and also we'll pick some, you know, some different projects here and there that we're going to help with, um, you know, all in the name of revitalization in downtown Oma. Right. And it sounds wonderful. You know, uh, that by Terrebonne, it's often, I guess, underutilized in the, the, the downtown Absolutely. area. Uh, similar to how Bayou Lafouche, I think, was a few years ago uh, in Thibodeau, and, but that that has really turned around, and I guess that's kind of like a goal. Uh, yeah, you know. Bayou uh, Lafouche was definitely an a inspiration for us, uh, what they were doing uh, with their kayak launch and their different things that they, uh, the friends of Bayou Lafouche and sure. those guys that were doing the, uh, different things in Thibodeau and that area. So we wanted to kind of uh, replicate that down here. We have got with a few people, and uh, it was very well received. You know, we, we see people all the time fishing and bite Terrebonne mm -hmm. and things like that. We now have uh, in the feed store, there's a uh, a company that does a paddle, uh, kayak launch, uh, kayak rentals, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, and, you know, people could go rent kayaks from there and go down by Terrebonne. So we kind of want to uh, feed off of that and give e easy access to by Terrebonne. So, you know, once that was a main hub of sure of downtown homa i'd like to see that again yeah yeah and i mean that's that's the reason why downtown was built there <laughs> right exactly <laughs> back when it was connected to, to bayou lafouche back in, in the day a long yeah time absolutely ago. they you bring shrimp and different products into the town using that that bayou so you know it's it, it can be something big it can be something beautiful and we we hope to see it one day Good. And so you, you said this is y'all now fourth year in, in y'all two events. I guess it, it's the boucherie. What year? What time of year does that usually take? So we, uh, yeah, we have two events, March in March, usually two weeks after Mardi Gras. We have the Bay Terrebonne Boucherie, which is our huge uh, fundraiser event. We throw a big festival, one day festival every year. And then the Mama Walker is our, our wintertime October festival. And like we said before, uh, not necessarily a fundraiser for us, but a, a way to try to give back to this community and, and promote this community that we love so much. Sure, and it, it helps support those businesses that are downtown because that's that's important. You know, to, to have a good downtown, you have to have the businesses stay there. You have to yeah. have them visited, and it's a good way to get people out and bring revenue into the doors. Of those yeah, absolutely. We, you know, when we started all this, we were trying to think of an event, and, you know, people said there's no foot traffic downtown. It's hard to get downtown and walk around and, and see stores. So we said, well, you know, we'll get some foot traffic. So now we, uh, last year, I think we had 2,000 people downtown walking around wow. on Mama Walk. So we, they want to put traffic. There it is. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a lot of people. That, in just four years, it's it's grown that big. That, that's pretty good success. Absolutely, right there. Yep. And, and again, uh, you can dress up uh, if you want. That's October fifth for the Momo Walker uh, downtown with the and, and the band again. Who who was it playing it? Uh, Flush Carnival is going to be playing live on the bandstand. Uh, Kevin Kevin C. Van, those guys they're going to uh, jam out kind of a alternative cover rock band. They're going to they're going to give the people what they want. And we also want to give a big huge shout out to Explore Oma. They're our presenting sponsor for this. They've been a partner with us for since we started and we want to uh, thank them for everything they do for us all right well well thank you manny for coming on and, and putting on this event and helping what you do uh revitalizing downtown we certainly appreciate thanks it. thanks for having us all right stay tuned for more right here on htv <laughs>
Today's social media segment is brought to you by Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs. CIS, Cardiovascular Institute of the South, the highest quality cardiovascular care available. Barker Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. <laughs> 